Hey, hello, hi. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name's Kate. This is my library. And in today's video, I'm gonna do a massive unboxing. So as you can probably tell, uh, I got a few parcels. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, all but two I got today. Uh, there was a sale. Um, I make no excuses. I am a consumer and I am a consumer of books. So all the stuff I'm going to go through is predominantly from Amazon, my local bookstore or from Dimmick. So let's jump straight in. Uh, let's start with the books that I got from other stores. So the first one I got was from Bookface, which is my local bookstore. And I got the Agatha Christie uh, Midsummer Mysteries book. If you can see how gorgeous that design is. How beautiful is it? This was like, still got a sticker on it. This was $32.99. It is a hardcover, but I'm going to be honest. Uh, I'm going to blame um, How to Train Your Gavin. Uh, because his video where he went on a train and read a murder mystery was just amazing. And I think I want to do something similar. Maybe not go on a train, but like do a murder mystery night kind of thing. Um, I'm currently teaching detective fiction at school. So I really want to read this one. And I love Agatha Christie. I love Poirot. This is a Miss Marple. So I'm excited to read this Miss Marple as well. The next book is um, I got as a um, I pre ordered it from Dimix. So when you pre ordered it, you got an extra lanyard, which I will show you in a minute. I'll do it like a panning down. And so, yeah, I got that one. So it was Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. Kind of not excited about this sticker just there, but that's just beautiful. I've actually started um, reading this already. I am actually listening to the audiobook. Um, I'm liking it so far. Um, I did not like the uh, in the narration where they did this, uh, where they were talking. And now I've just realized, because they say schmack, and I'm like, who the hell is that? Uh, or what the hell is that? And I realise that's the name of the person. <laughs> I do. Um, but yeah. Loving it so far. Excited to read this. Um, I really love the love hypothesis. So I'm kind of hoping that this is just as good. Okay. Now into the Amazon haul. Um, hopefully by now I have put up my video of tbr for the month i am planning for the month of september to make it my witchy month uh where i read all the witchy books so um i did order some more witchy books some of them graphic novels some of them like classics i also plan to do like a movie marathon as well so here's hoping but the first book i got i'm not going to show you my the first book is i ordered it a while ago and it had to come from america because nowhere in australia had it and it is moon cakes uh, this one is just a beautiful. I've heard it is amazing. I don't know a massive amount, amount about it, so I'm going to read you the blurb on the back. One fateful night, teen witch Nova follows reports of a white wolf in the wood and discovers a childhood crush with Tam Lang battling a horse demon. Now, against the background of slowly rekindling romance, Tam and Nova must investigate the dark supernatural forces eager to claim wolf magic for evil. I'm just, yes, just yes for the back. But also this front, like, I am so excited for this. So this is actually going to go um, on my TBR, and hopefully you've seen it on my TBR before this, but who knows. Um, here's hoping. And I'm hoping this camera is focusing on me. Sorry, I keep checking if it actually is focused on me. Focus. Focus. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's that one. The art style is just beautiful. I'm so excited. Like, I'll show you the first page. Like, look at that. Look at that art style. 
I love it. I'm getting more into graphic novels. And the seance um, tea party is just everything. Okay. Next lot. This is a very heavy one. There's three books in here. Okay. Woot. Um, so if you didn't know as well, I'm kind of on, on a contemporary romance binge uh, where I haven't really read contemporary romance before and now I'm slightly addicted. Um, who knew that I'd become this person? I always thought that I'd be a fantasy magic person. Um, but that is slowly changing. I blame Olivia Reads a Latte and I blame the Love Hypothesis uh, for this recent genre uh, expansion. Um, that was a long-winded one. Uh, but anyway, these ones are all by Sarah Adams. I think they're independently published. I don't think they're published by an actual company. No. Um, so there is two lots. So the first one I got is Off Limit, the Off Limit Rules, which is apparently like an office romance. It says, I found rock bottom. It's here moving in with my older brother because I am too broke to afford living on my own. It's okay though, because we've always been close and I think I'm going to like living with him. That is until I met Cooper. Turns out my brother has very strong opinions on the idea of me, me dating his best friend. According to him, Cooper is everything I should stay away from. Flirtatious, adventurous, non-committal, and freaking hot. I added that last point because I feel like you need the whole picture. My brother is right. I should stay away from Mr. Cooper James and his pretty blue eyes. He's the opposite of what I need right now. Nah, who am I kidding? I'm going for it. Uh, so not an office romance. Uh, that's hopefully one of the others. Uh, this is the brother, uh, brother's best friend trope. Excited for this one. Love the cover and love like the look of it. <laughs> okay. Then the next one is, they're both from, it happened in Charleston. And the first one is the enemy. And the second one is the match. I'm hoping that they are two different ones. Yes, they are. But it's uh, set within the same kind of world. We've got enemies to lovers. And then I think we've got um, like bad boy family thing. I'm not 100% sure. To be honest, I saw that there was heaps of ratings on it. I saw that it was good. I swear I've heard people talk about it before. Um, but I just wanted to try it. They were shorter books. They're only like... 240 pages or 250 pages so that's like a really quick read for me but I'm excited for these as well let me know if you've read anything from Sarah Adams before as well I really should have read um the Monk Kindle first but a part of me was like they're 20% off treat yourself so I did <laughs> that's just going to be the clip for this and hopefully the title is treat yourself okay next one is in a box. I've already taken out the pencil case. That's why the flaps are already open because I got a pencil case for school. Uh, if you want a stationary haul too, let me know in the comments down below and I'll show you like my setup for teaching as well. Ha ha. Okay. So because I liked, um, oh, I've got other stuff on YouTube. Um, because I liked the Spanish love deception, everyone reckons that I should read the hating game. I uh, guess they reckon this one is better. So hopefully this is good. Also don't like the sticker on there. That's a bit of a pain. Um, but this is your um, your enemies to lovers, hate romance, office love. So I'm not going to go into this too much. Um, well, or at all, to be honest, because this is now a TV show. So I'm hoping to read this and do the TV show as like a vlog thing. So we will see. The next one I got is the second book in, I don't know what series, Dreamland Billionaires. So I've got the first one. I haven't read it yet. This was 40% off and I'm like, mm, why not? Um, cause I do like to read one after the other. Um, so this is Terms and Conditions. Everyone says that this one's better. So I'm kind of hoping it is, uh, who knows, but we will see. Okay, next book is The Roommate. Um, so this one is by Rosie Danner. Um, Temptation is just across the hall. It looks good. Love the spine. So it says uh, Clara Wheaton is the... Whatever. 
Uh, good girl. Overachieving, well-mannered, utterly predictable. When her childhood crush invites her to move cross-country, the offer is too good to resist. Unfortunately, it's also too good to be true. Suddenly, Clara finds herself sharing a house with a charming stranger. Josh might be a bit too... Uh, perceptive, not to mention handsome, for comfort, but there's a good chance he and Clara could have survived sharing a summer sublet if she hadn't let, uh, hadn't looked him up on the internet. Once she knows how Josh has made a name for himself, Clara realizes living with him might destroy the reputation she spent years building. But while they may not agree on much, both Clara, Josh and Clara believe women deserve better sex. What they decide to do about it will change both of their lives. And if they're lucky, they'll help each other get lucky too. Ooh. I'm pretty sure he's meant to be like a male prostitute or something. But I'm excited for that. It's going to be something different. Not really, to be honest. And the last one is Practical Magic. This is the one that um, by Alex Hoffman. Alice Hoffman, sorry. It is your beloved classic. It's in this redesigned cover. How beautiful that is. Um, I kind of wish it was glittery on the front, um, but this is the one that the show is based off. So this is going to be in my witchy TBR, um, and hopefully I will also watch the movie of this one. But, yeah, uh, they're all the books. I did get some pens. Um, you probably don't want to see them, but they're just uh, Muji gel pens. My kids at school love them, and I'm like, I need to order myself some of those because uh, I used it, and I was like, I love this. So, yes. Um, I'll show you the books. Okay, so these are all the books that I bought. Um, I don't want to know how much they cost me, but I can claim them on tax, so that's nice. Um, I'm excited to read these, and I'm excited to hit my 100 mark goal. I've got my witchy books, and I will leave that linked up above in case you want to watch that. Um, but, yeah. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If they are fun to make, to be honest, the unboxing videos because I love getting mail. Uh, it is one of my favourite things to do. Um, I'm going to go downstairs now, probably make a decaf coffee, settle in, maybe even, you know, rest up before dinner, uh, go say hello to the puppies. I hope you're having a wonderful afternoon, morning or night, wherever you are. And I'll see you next time in one of my videos. Happy reading. Bye.